A very warm welcome to the 2020 Tebe Foundation and UJ Market Access Business Summit, where we bridge the gap between small businesses and market access opportunities. My name is Vuyolwe Tu Dubese, an innovation consultant and an entrepreneur, and it is an absolute honor to bring to you this critical and highly relevant convening as your program director. A very warm welcome to this year's Tebe Summit. It was in 2010 that the University of Johannesburg and the Tebe Foundation established a strategic partnership with the objective of developing small medium enterprises so that we could meaningfully participate and contribute to the economy. We continue to be part of the solution. I thank you I must appreciate the leadership for organizing this summit to the Vice Chancellor of the University of Johannesburg, the Chairperson of Tebe Foundation, the CEO of Tebe Investment, and the Director of the Johannesburg Business School. This is the year that the world economy has been disseminated by the pandemic of coronavirus, and the world as we know it will not happen again and it has dire implications for our SMMEs and cooperatives, or what we call small businesses in this country. The summit is quickly becoming synonymous with producing measurable results. You would have heard as uh, uh, our program director for the, for the day mention that we have uh, six contracts that were signed. Um, indeed, we, we do have those contracts, but even more than that, we have had the relationships that were formed. And so one of the things that we do say is that if you can't sign a contract today because you're not ready, at least build up a relationship for mentorship and coaching. Jackie, over to you. Thank you. The Tebe Foundation UJ program is the ideal complementary intervention to our internal programs. Impact groups Impact Group's beneficiary development program's vision is to drive business and economic growth through a value and supply chain focused development approach. We therefore actively seek opportunities for SMME development within our value and supply chain. Today, the total assets under Tab Investment Corporation amount to approximately 11 billion brands. Obviously, of that 11, 45% of that is tax. Uh, but the net value of the underlying assets of Tavin Corporation is in the order of 6 billion. So you can imagine running from 100,000 rands 20 years ago and achieving up to about 6 billion uh, to date. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for this time and opportunity. My name is Buso Kotzedi from a company, um, WPK Investments, trading as WPK Energy. We are a 100% Black-owned uh, company. We started off with our business in 2017 uh, with a turnover of about uh, 300,000 Rand. We increased it to 1.1 million and the projected turnover for next year because of the new business that we've acquired um, is about 9, 9 million Rand. Hello everyone, my name is Clarence. Um, I'm a director of a company called Lamotech Auto Engineering. Lamotech Auto Engineering is based in Weinbeck, is the industrial area of Santen. We are a 100% black marriage business. I personally joined the business 2014 after I, I, I have studied mechanical engineering at Valley University of Technology. Good day everyone, my name is Connie Sitimo the director of Sitima Saranoma Developments. We've been in construction for 14 years now. We have started as Sitima Saranoma Construction and we have changed now into a PTY LTD company. Hi, my name is Timo Musatipa. I'm the CEO and founding member of Intrax Fusion. We've been in operation for four years and we have a staff complement of eight employees. Our head office is in Centurion, but we recently just opened a branch in Western It is an honor to host you on our second running of the summit. Now here is an image that has shaped my life's purpose. In 2014, I accompanied a business coach to visit street vendor in Soweto. His trade was to sell cooked food, mainly fried liver. The business made less than 500 rand a week, 
and it struggled to keep afloat. After observing the vendor as he was going about his business, the coach realized that the vendor didn't weigh the liver before he cooked it, and it was the main selling product for his business. He then advised the vendor to buy a food scale and price the liver according to the um, liver cuts that he would have cut previously. Two months later, we visited the vendor. He was now making about 2,000 rand a week. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed my singular pleasure, honor to say it has been a successful day. Thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to another time together. Ladies and gents, this has been a live broadcast of the 2020 Tebe Foundation and UJ Market Access Business Summit. And it has been an absolute pleasure to be your program director. Goodbye and God bless.